Okie dokie you two, we can cross off that we have done the main idea paragraph and now we can look at doing step two of our Wednesday activities. Today my helper is Robbie McFrogface. Alright, so step two says reread each paragraph, so that's from sheet E18 and highlight the noun groups, extended noun groups and any technical language. Remember, noun groups are one adjective before the noun, so for example, a big dog, and an extended noun group has two adjectives before the noun, for example, a big hairy dog. And you'll watch, there's a clip that you can watch, which is this one, to help you do it. So back to page. E18 in your workbook. So by now you have gone through this page and you have filled in all the headings. So this one was habitat. This one is diet, this one was predators, righto. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reread each of these paragraphs and we're going to find the extended noun groups. Now Froggy McFrogface was a little nervous at first because Wedgetail Eagle scare him but he has moved on and he's ready to help read about them and find the noun groups. Alright, so I'll do this paragraph. The Wedgetail Eagle has long wings. Has long wings is a noun group. It's only got the one adjective before the noun. A long wedge shaped tail. That one is an extended noun group because it's got two adjectives before the noun. And legs that are feathered all the way to the toes. The bill is pale pink. So it is pale pink and it's describing the bill. The eyes are brown to dark brown and the feet are off white. Young wedgetail eagles are mid-brown in colour with reddish-brown heads and wings. They become blacker as they get older. Female sizes are larger and heavier than male. Wedgetail eagles are Australia's largest raptors, which is birds of prey. Okay, so there are the extended noun groups that... I have found for this, so let me just write, so N for noun group, E, N for extended noun group, E, N, this one is a noun group, this one is a noun group, so we've got two extended noun groups and three noun groups. The eyes are brown to dark brown. So eye brown to dark brown you could use as another noun group. Alright, now that I've got those noun groups, I am going to circle any technical language that I might have noticed. So I reread the paragraph and I think to myself, hmm, that's not a word I would use in everyday language, that must be a technical language. So Bill, I've circled the word Bill which is the technical language for beak and I keep reading and thinking to myself this is all sort of normal sounding language until I get to this word raptor and I think wow that's some technical language right there and the text actually tells me what raptors means next to it in brackets so it means birds of prey 
I did miss a extended noun group. Uh, Australia's largest raptors. So raptors are the thing, the noun, and the describing words are Australia's largest. So there is another extended noun group for that paragraph. So let's look at it. I can recognise extended noun groups and I can recognise technical language. So thanks Froggy McFrogface for your help. Now we're going to leave the kids to look at the three other paragraphs and highlight for themselves the extended noun groups and the technical language that they see. Extended noun groups are important in this activity too for when you get to sheet S1 where you are working with Mrs. Ahrens to label the eagle diagram.